how to make a school management system in wordpress hello guys welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing good and amazing so in today's video i'm going to show you how you can make a school management system using wordpress it's going to be easy and it's going to be user friendly and i'm going to show you all the steps one by one so it won't be any hassle for you so without any delay let's get to the video so first of all what you have to do is basically you just have to open your wordpress and you have to go onto your dashboard and where all the things are and it's going to be you know you know the whole drill of the wordpress when you go on you basically make a site i just made a simple site for myself i named it my mock site you can name it anything basically if you're making something a school management system so you have to name the site according to this uh, school host system you're going to manage so you have to basically name it according to that so uh, basically what we're going to do today is uh, we are going to make a website for ourselves using wordpress which is basically a school management site and then we are going to add in the important plugins that will help you regulate all the systems of that school so that's how we are going to add a school management uh you know how that's how we are going to manage the whole school system and everything so that's what we are going to do so wordpress gives you a lot of good plugins to add and, and that's how you can do all the important stuff and how that's how you can regulate you know everything that you want if, uh, if you are into any business or anything so it's really good and it also has good websites it uh, has good themes templates and everything in short wordpress is amazing for having uh you know business or having uh, any kind of management done and you know it is just good to basically come here and do whatever work you want to do with it. so what you need to do is basically come onto your wordpress and then you have to find appearance here in the appearance you you will you know the theme section will appear so in the theme section you just need to open it and then you will be greeted to some themes that you already have so after having this themes you'll have basically um you have to come here and click on the add new theme when you'll click here you'll basically get all the options of themes that are available to you and here is also here will be a search option in the search option you have to search for astra uh, when after searching for astra you'll be you know the theme will be appear on the first one theme will be astra you have you need to click it and then you need to install it and activate it for me it is already activated because i just did it so i'm just going to you know go on and see tell you what the other step is but for you you have to come here and activate it first after that when the theme will be activated you will see this sign right here thank you for installing astra did you know astra comes with dozens of free to use starter templates so astra is basically a theme and it has a lot of templates so you basically uh, install the starter templates plugin to get started so for that you need to get starter templates what we need is we need the astra starter templates and we need to use one of these templates to go with our uh, you know school management and build a school management website so i'm going to basically i came here on astra and now i'm going to come here and 280 plus ready to import website templates i'm just going to search here okay so after searching for school management you can see here are some templates that we got so there are some premium ones and then there are some free ones so you have to basically find something that is for free because that's what we're going to use today we are not going to uh, have anything that is paid so i'm just going to click on this one which is available for free and i'm going to uh, actually preview it and have it and uh, everything so as you can see here this website looks good and um, you know champion school it's for champion school you can just come here and change the name later on and you can um, see the all the text and everything is in place and we're just we aim at inspiring our students uh, the subjects are here and the activities co-curricular activities it's just good so i'm just going to click on this option here which says customize and then i'm going to basically uh come here onto my wordpress and come here on the plugins and i'm going to add a new plugin for myself in the plugin search for uh go in the add new plugin and add a plugin that i'm going to click here and then you have to search for elementor so elementor is basically a plugin which allows you to uh website uh, design your website and customize your website and it has a lot other more options than what just basic uh you know wordpress editor or customizer gives you so i'm just going to install that plugin and activate it along with everything so that you get and you can basically customize your website of the school in an easy manner i'm going to activate it so as you can see, this is my, uh, you know, Elementor. I'm going to basically come here and I clicked it again. I'm going to apply and, the you know, my plugin has been activated. So now when you come on to here on home and everything, you get the customization option. Just, uh, you know, 
restore this okay so after adding in my plugin i came there uh, i went there i went to the templates and then i uh, selected the template extra that i was going to and i clicked on get started and this is the page that i got onto now you need to uh, basically search school management once again and it will give you the template right here and here you will be able to basically uh, get that customized according to your own needs so i'm just going to do that once again i showed you the website that i wanted so i'm just going to find it here here it is so i'm just going to click on it okay so now you see this is the champion school and now you can just come here and change the logo if you want and you can just skip this step if you want to so if you want to build a logo i'm just going to go on to www.squarespace.com so i'm just going to build a logo for myself on squarespace you can use any other uh you know website you can any other platform that you want to uh, have a logo from you can uh, create some one on canva you can just uh, do that and come here and upload it so it's gonna take a lot of time so i'm just going to skip this step right now but you know that really you just you know make a logo and upload it right here upload the file right here and your logo will appear right here so i'm just going to go with champion school right now and skip and continue now you have to uh, add selected templates choose color fonts you can just choose any kind of font that you want you can make it in pinks you can make it light blues and everything's going with you know this one oranges and reds so i'm just going to uh, go on with this as you can see and come down and continue so okay tell us a little bit about yourself your name your work email and etc etc and submit and build my website so installing required theme plugins forms etc it's building my website for me and then you can uh, basically go on and re uh, design it or customize it according to your own need you can just do that but it is just your basic website for you and having it all installed it's going to take a while so i'll come back after it's done okay now you see guys this is the whole website now you can come here and click on this edit with elementor option and you'll be able to uh, change the pictures change the headings and change the text according to your own need and uh, style you can do whatever you want and you'll be able to uh, make a whole new website out of it but you'll have a the basic template of it you'll know where to put one uh, something and what to do with uh, pages in it everything so it's gonna make the whole process of customization easier for you as you know elementor is really good in customization it gives you all the sections right here you can uh, add your you know I, it is a drag and drop options it will give you everything right here you can add icons you know wpf forms google maps dividers images videos uh, some things are locked because these are only available in the pro version you can buy the pro version and that will be just amazing you can just click on this picture right here so you can click on this text and change the text uh, if you want to you can also just uh, click on this header picture at the back of the you know text you can uh, change that and everything you can do anything that you want to you can go on to different sections you can change the sections if you want to you can edit them here are some small pencil uh, options on everything you can style them go on to styling and you can style each section you can typography text stroke text shadow etc so these are all the options that you have after uh, done uh, editing and everything you can just come uh, click here and uh, you can uh, exit and you can view your page or you can exit the whole site and see how it's looking and this is your whole page this is your whole website and everything so this is good to go now what you need to do is basically you need to go back to your dashboard and from here you need to install some of your other plugins that will help you basically regulate and manage the whole school system so from the plugins uh, i came in to add new and in the add new i want you to search for the keyword which is school management okay so uh, in the school management as you can see there are a lot of plugins available and this is the one that i need you to find school management system wps school press so this is two it has 2000 plus active installation it was also updated seven months ago which is good and now i'm just going to install install it and then i am going to activate it and then i'm going to use it in front of you guys so that you know what you're going to do and how to do it so i'm just going to activate it and yes my plugin is a kind of activated wait a second guys here's my plugin so as you can see this is all the features that i get from this plugin the messages to teachers parent classes attendance and the whole management system of the whole school so i'm just going to click on the dashboard of wps school press and as you can see it is very interactive it is very good you also you get won't get bored while managing the whole school system and this is uh, amazing like this is your dashboard in number of teachers number of teachers number of students number of parents and number of classes so uh, activities 
calendar you can uh, name and mark all the activities events exams and holidays you can add your exams will appear right here and as you can see live as if you were to die tomorrow learn as if you were to live forever so this is the code it is very motivating as well so you can come here on the teacher section you can see all the things are notified right here the classes attendance events etc so I'm just going i went into the teacher section and i'll show you how you can add teachers um here you can see this is uh the teacher's form uh you can uh, create a new teacher and you can um the, they will appear here the employee code name in charge class subjects handling you just click on here create new and here you can see the teachers the personal details you have to put in your profile image the, the gender of the teacher the first name middle name last name date of birth street address qualification phone number blood group and then you have to account information and school details so after submitting everything you will be able to have that teacher listed and you can assign a class to that teacher and you can keep an eye on whatever that the activities of the teacher if they're taking th the class you can check it in the attendance section if the you know students attend the teacher attendance you can uh, go into classes and check all the classes the subject subject marks fields etc so this is how you can manage the whole system uh, i hope uh, you get the whole idea of managing the school system and i hope you can make it uh, more creative and uh, use it up to your own good in a very good and different manner so this was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it was informative for you if you have any queries just comment them down in the comment section below and i will try to get back to you guys until then take care bye bye